Llano Estacado and the Staked Plains of Texas provided a path to California for hundreds of people hoping to find gold. In 1881, the Texas and Pacific built a railroad through West Texas, and a small community sprung up in the middle of nowhere, halfway between Fort Worth and El Paso. They called it Midland. In 1885, the unincorporated village had a saloon, a general mercantile store, and a blacksmith shop. They had nearly everything except a Baptist church. Mr. J.H. Barron, a good Baptist and owner of everybody's dry goods store, attended church on Sunday with all the Protestants in the community, meeting in the little one-room schoolhouse located in the middle of town. Mr. Barron had a girlfriend and sweetheart who would not move to Midland unless there was an established Baptist church. This motivated Mr. Barron to gather all the potential Baptists in the area for a meeting in the schoolhouse. This meeting, moderated by Reverend S.J. Calloway, established the First Baptist Church of Midland on January 10, 1886, with 24 charter members. 21 pastors have served the First Baptist Church in Midland. They were all different men, but had one thing in common, a love for Christ and a love of the church. They were all focused on winning souls and proclaiming Christ to the world. From its inception, First Baptist Midland was mission-minded, dedicated and determined to serve. They vowed that this church would be built on the solid rock of Jesus Christ and that the gates of hell would not prevail against it. They said they would embrace the Lord Jesus Christ and would give of themselves wholly and unselfishly to God and his cause. From these 24 dedicated charter members, the church grew to a membership of over 8,000. Through protracted meetings and revivals, organized Bible study, an aggressive Sunday school, an excellent spiritual training program, an outstanding music ministry, a child development program, a strong prayer ministry, a far-reaching mission ministry, Bible-based preaching ministry, and programs and opportunities for every age group, this church has become one of the outstanding churches in America. During the 135 years of existence, First Baptist Midland has started or had a part in starting 10 churches in Midland. This church started the Paisano Baptist Encampment at Alpine and the river ministry along the Rio Grande River. They started churches in several states in the U.S. as well as Mexico, Canada, Africa, and Asia, just to name a few. Our church builders provided labor and materials to build numerous church buildings throughout the United States. Over the 135 years, First Baptist Midland baptized thousands, and many more were converted under their ministries. This church has produced and prepared hundreds of men and women to enter Christian ministry, to serve around the world. And once again, the scripture is fulfilled when it says all things can be accomplished through Christ our Lord. We step into the future with faith, knowing that through Christ, all things can be accomplished. As we celebrate the 135th birthday of First Baptist Church of Midland, we humbly bow and say, to God be the glory, great things he has done.